Hello everyone, this is going to be a quick video on the Apple design resources for Sketch. If you are interested in designing iPhone or Mac applications, chances are that you already stumbled into the Human Interface Guidelines website from Apple, which offers tons of information on how to design and build applications for any of these platforms. From design principles to actually practical information on how to approach, for example, navigation or using alerts inside your applications, there's information here that you should definitely take a good look. What's also interesting is the resources link, because recently Apple has updated their design resources for Sketch. So now if you want to design, for example, an iPhone application, you can use their official design resources by importing a Sketch library. If you follow the link, you will go into Sketch and import the library in optionally the San Francisco font. In my case, that's already installed. So once you do that, you will have a, co uh, a collection of all the most common and important UI components that you need to design um, an application. And when Apple decides it's time to do an update on this library, you will get notified of these changes right inside Sketch. Also, these are official components, so their design and measurements will be very accurate. And they are all symbols, so they can be reused throughout your application. So before we move on, let's finish up this screen right here using the components from the library. Just by reusing the existing components, we can prototype a very accurate application and of course you can add your own UI elements that will surely enrich the experience and make it your own. For the goal of this video, I'm not going any further. So let's imagine you wanted to share this with your team. Well, in that case, you can use Sketch Cloud or export the artboards to Zeppelin or InVision. We covered Zeppelin in the past. So check the link below and you can view my detailed video on how you can use Zeppelin to its full extent. For now, we're going to select our artboards and we're going to export this to Zeppelin, which I already got the plugin here. So let's add these screens to our example project. Okay, so this should be all done. So we've got our screens here which you can change the order and present them by sections. Uh, th there's more in detailed information about this on the Zeppelin video, so I'm not going to full detail. But if you share this with any of your teammates, you, they, can, they can go in here and they can inspect um, uh, all the UI elements and check the exact measurements uh, of any of these components. So this will be very helpful for anyone who's developing. And they can also leave comments and follow the flow of the application. They can also add revisions, new iterations along the way. So really, the sky is the limit. It's a great prototyping tool 
which I think you should explore more. So check the other video. That's everything I wanted to cover in this video. It's great to see the Apple design resources be so readily available for anyone who wants to do design using Sketch, Photoshop, or other design tools. We actually have more detailed videos on prototyping, so please check those out as well. If you want us to cover any specific topic, please leave a comment below, and I'll see you later. Thanks.